Welcome to Valley Mobile Automotive. We're sitting in a 2008 Chevy Cobalt and the complaint is a fuel smell. The owner said when they turn the AC on or the vent on, they get a fuel smell, but also when they're outside the vehicle, they continue to get a fuel smell and it's been getting worse over time. So they decided, hey, now's the time to check it out because if it's a uh, you know fuel leak, you don't wanna be messing around with that. So you're smelling fuel, um, so let's get it checked out because that's that's a dangerous situation. So when we think of a fuel smell, there's two things that come to mind, a liquid leak, and, and in that way, it would be creating like a puddle or some kind of visible um, residue, a fuel residue. So a, a liquid leak or possibly uh, just a vapor leak, like if there's a hole or a nick or something like on top of the tank, you wouldn't necessarily get a fluid leak, but there would be enough of a, a leak to smell the vapors. So two different things that we're looking at. Um, obviously the liquid leak would be uh, easier to detect because you know, you'd know you see it visibly. So let's start um, the easiest first. So we'll go under the hood, we'll look at the fuel injectors and uh, the fuel lines, and we'll just start there, under the hood, nice and easy, uh, and then we'll visually inspect our way back uh, to the tank. So there's really not a lot of technique to this diagnosis other than just a good visual inspection. So this is the fuel rail here. It goes underneath this uh, little air box resonator and it comes out here. So connected to the fuel rail, of course, is your injector. So you just wanna give a good visual. It's you know hard to show you everything with the camera, but like here's an injector. So you're looking around like the O-rings and seals and everything uh, in this area. And of course, when doing a visual inspection for any kind of fluid leak, you want the car nice and dry. So if it's been raining and you've been on the, a wet road, um, you know we just have to wait for it to dry before we can really look for these leaks. One thing that may help a leak come out or make itself more visible is pressurizing the fuel system. So turn the key on, have the fuel system pressurized, and that may reveal uh, a leak. But anyway, looking around the fuel rail, everything looks good here. Then we could follow the fuel line, comes up and around and then to the back and then down and under the car. Everything under the hood uh, looks good. So now let's go under the vehicle and we're just gonna follow these lines back. Kinda squished under here, hard to see, but these are the fuel, fuel lines. One is fuel, the other is for the EVAP. So you just wanna follow it back kind of get some smell of fuel every once in a while back here but you're just you know following the lines following the lines everywhere they go all the way back now on this they go back here and then across in the tank um, can't see it but there's that bend in the exhaust the tanks right there so that's where we're gonna go next so all these fuel lines look good but you know it's possible it's under the vehicle a rock could have kicked up and nicked a fuel line or or whatever but so that's what we're looking for and then I'll jack that back side of the vehicle up and we'll get a good shot it up and around the tank so now we're around the tank really hard to film under here this is facing uh, the front of the vehicle and I don't know if you can see I think we found our culprit maybe yeah, let me turn down my light It's hard to do it. Can you see? There. You see that? It's wet. Now it's not enough to be dripping all over the place. Um, but the tank is wet and it smells like fuel. Let's see if you can see. Uh, it's kind of hard. Kind of hard to see, but it's definitely wet in that area. So I'm going to look around the tank a little more and I'll show you if I find anything else. But this is the front of the tank is leaking. Let me come around here. Can you see that by the leaf? It's all wet right by that leaf. So now this tank has to be dropped because it's a the tank is it a fuel line because right here is the fuel filter and these are the lines right here coming from the tank so maybe it's just one of the lines 
isn't sealing right on the uh, fuel pump or you know what's happening but definitely this tank uh, needs to be dropped in order to see what's happening up above it but we found our fuel leak just by a visual inspection some other areas of concern would be like the filler neck just giving that a good uh, inspection as well let's see it goes into the tank right here just giving that a good inspection uh, those are leak points we did find it right here um, but if we didn't find it so obviously then that's another spot the charcoal canisters here if that for some reason gets uh, saturated and um, isn't doing its job it can smell like fuel around the charcoal canister that's part of the evap system all right there you go this is a really short video I'm gonna stop here because there are three recalls for this particular vehicle regarding fuel leakage at the tank there's a recall for the fuel pump module leaking fuel uh, the fuel inlet control valve not quite sure what that is but again at the tank being cracked uh, leaking um, and then another fuel pump module uh, recall so three recalls they're going to go ahead and call a dealer see uh, if this is covered um, maybe take it to the dealer and have them fix it but the process that we took um, is is similar no matter what vehicle you have um, it could be a fuel liquid fuel vapor and you're just visually inspecting most of it starting where it's easiest uh, under the hood by the injectors those are you know can be a common place for a leak around any seals any line connections uh, things like that the line itself you know it runs under the vehicle um, maybe a rock could kick up from the road a dirt road if you live on one and uh, puncture a hole in it and things like that but you're just just visually inspecting the whole system front to back um, and 99% of the time you're gonna find it those once in a while you don't find it it could be a fuel vapor um, that's escaping but not a liquid that's escaping those will be on top of things like on top of the fuel tank the evap uh, system you know that should be all vapor so if you got a big hole somewhere in that system, you could be smelling fuel vapor, um, but not actually seeing a liquid fuel. Now, usually if it's going to be an EVAP related thing, you're going to have a code uh, for an EVAP large leak. So depending on how things go with the dealer, and we actually do end up doing work on this, I'll make a separate video and just link these two uh, together. All right, well, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and see you on the next one. If you look at this connector, you see that it's all moist and wet inside and that's fuel fuel inside the electrical connector you can see it's all moist up top and uh, wet inside so that was definitely a fire waiting to happen